everyone, thanks for joining me for another Cricut tutorial. Today I'm excited to show you how I made this glittered sign that will hang above my granddaughter Evie's crib. I think it turned out super cute and it's just so super easy. The first thing we need to do is prep our canvas. This is just a standard canvas and I'm just using some art gesso and I just used a sponge brush and brushed on a real light coat on the canvas and let that set to dry. And while that's drying, let's jump over to Design Space and start our design. We're going to go to Insert Shapes. We're going to go to Square. My canvas is 7 by 14. So I'm going to go over to the Edit panel, click on Edit over here in the upper right. I'm going to unlock the Keep Proportions lock. I'm going to change the width to 14 inches and the height to 7. This now represents my canvas. Let's click on the lock so that doesn't move out of proportion. Let's click on the layers panel while it's still selected. Click on the gray and let's just change that to white so that we can have a background that we can easily see. Okay so that represents our canvas. Now we're going to go to add text. We're going to type the name. I'm typing Evie. This is for my granddaughter. And then I'm going to click over here on edit while the text is still selected and I want to change the font. And I think I don't, that one's a little bit of a distressed font, doesn't work real well in vinyl. I think I'm going to try milkshake. This is a nice thick font and I'm going to change the points over here on the right to, let's try 350. All right, now we want our letters to hook together. So there are a couple things you can do. First, you can try clicking on letter spacing. And simply by decreasing the letter spacing size, you see the letters start to touch one another. Now, I don't wanna keep scooting these together, but I need to get that E attached. So what we're going to do is go over here to this button right here, it's called isolate letters. We're going to click on that and now that allows me to click on just this E and without moving it in any direction I'm just going to use the arrow key on my keyboard and scoot it over so that it stays directly in line. Okay now click off of it. Now we're going to click, we can move the canvas out of the way, we're going to draw a box around the entire name. We're going to go over to the layers panel and we're going to click weld. And what that's done now is take all those letters, attach them together. You can see there's no cut lines in between the letters, which is exactly what we want. And it's all in one layer. Now let's pull our canvas back up here and size this more appropriately. And that looks perfect to me. So we're going to hit go. And I am just going to cut this out on a piece of vinyl that is basically a scrap that I would never use. It's just a color that came in a multi-pack that I probably am not going to use. You could also just cut this out in some contact paper or something like that. Whatever you have on hand, it's perfectly fine. But I'm going to use some, I think, brown vinyl paper that I have. And I'm looking here, it looks like I need a piece that is five by approximately a little over 10. 5 by 10 and a half should be plenty big. So we're going to cut this out. No need to mirror or anything. So just hit go. And I'm going to cut this out and I'll show you how to put this on the canvas and how to glitter it. Okay, so here it is. We cut it out. And again, I just used a piece of scrap vinyl that I'm probably not going to use for much of anything else. We're going to use our scraper tool, credit card, whatever you have, and make sure we go over that so that it's stuck down really well. And we're going to weed. This is a pretty easy font to weed. Make sure I didn't lose the dot on my eye. Again, I like this font because it's very chunky. And get rid of our scrap there. 
Okay, so once we have our design weeded, the next thing we need is a piece of transfer tape. I really like this Cricut transfer tape. They changed the formula not too long ago, and I really like this version. One, I like that it has the grid lines on it, so I can line my word up straight. With the lines. Again, we're going to use our credit card or your Cricut spatula. I absolutely love this spatula. Make sure everything is stuck down really well. And we're going to pull that off the backing. Just like that. Next thing we're going to do is take our canvas. This only takes a few minutes to dry. And I'm going to use a T-square. You can do whatever you want, but I'm going to use a T-square. I just think it makes it a lot easier. I'm going to fold my design in half. Just make a little crease there on the transfer paper, just so that I know where the middle is. I know that this is 14 inches, so I know it's 7 inches is the middle. So I'm going to line that up with the 7. Using my T-square, I'm going to line one of the grid lines up at the top of the square. And lay it down. Oop, moved it. Stuck to my ruler though, so I'm good. And I just want to, before I stick it down really well, I just want to make sure it's about where I want it. I need to go down a little bit. Okay, that looks good. I'll remove my ruler. Okay, now, this is a great time to have Cricut cartridges of, that came in the boxes because you want to put something underneath of there. Since the bottom of this canvas is hollow, I need something under there so that I can scrape this down so that it's going to stick. And the Cricut cartridges is a perfect height for the canvas. And then once I do that, I like to turn it over and scrape it from the back. Try to make sure everything is stuck down pretty well. Alright, and now we just want to remove our transfer paper. I'm not worried that this isn't stuck down majorly well because I'm only using it as a stencil. Okay, I just went through and put this on fast forward. Unfortunately, my dog started barking in the middle of this and I didn't want that to hurt your ears. So I'm just weeding this out real quickly. Again, it's not going to stick really, really great. If you do want it to stick well, you're going to leave the vinyl on there. You want to work with it a little bit more when you're uh, buffering it down. Okay, so once you have your vinyl weeded and stuck to your canvas, and again, this isn't stuck down really well. If you want to just use a uh, vinyl on a canvas, I would recommend putting something over this to seal it. I am merely using this for a stencil for my paint, so I'm not real concerned. I, in fact, I don't want it to stick down real well. I just want to make sure that the it's stuck down well enough that the paint's not going to go over the edges. So you're going to take some paint. You can use any kind of paint you want. I am using this glitter, <laughs> glitter Blast by Krylon. It's silver. And I'm going to give this a spray real quick. And okay, so here is my freshly painted canvas. Um, excuse my painting box, but this is what I use when I paint. Um, I let mine dry just, I don't know, just till it's just tacky. I don't want it totally dry because I don't want to risk peeling the paint up when I remove the vinyl, but this is too wet. I don't want to risk messing it up. So I'm going to let this dry slightly and I'll be right back. Okay, with the magic of time and a heat gun and the camera, I am ready to remove my vinyl. You want to be very careful. Voila. I need to find this little eye and I found if you can't 
find the edge. If you just hit it with your heat gun for a second, the vinyl will shrink up a little bit and actually release for you. So there we go. See that? And now I can pull that right off. Ta-da! So that's it. That's my super cute sign to put above Evie's bed. I think it's so cute. Silver glitter. Little blingy like every girl needs to be. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye!